Okay, today is day seven, and we got here, and it is windy, windy, like dust devil windy, like crazy. Can't even keep your eyes open, it's so dusty, so, yay, <laughs> I think we're all hit hitting a wall and how much more we can do. Uh, and because of the wind, it's not safe to finish putting up the roof. We thankfully got all of it on the run last night. But we are now in a place where everything is trying to hold on to us. So. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what we get done today. Little expectations at the moment. Um, but the wind may die down for a little while, and we may be able to do it, but we're just going to focus on what we can to. I'm coming in. Some stuff going on in here. Hello. Yeah. Hello. And uh, yeah. we were able to build the platform for the birds. So it looks like these guys already got everything glued down. Let's we'll see how it does. Oh my god, it says it cures in about 20 minutes, which should be perfect. How are you guys holding up with the wind today? How do I look like I'm holding up? <laughs> Better than mine. Better than mine? <laughs> Better than mine. Her hair's all Better than mine? Yeah. Are you a mime? I don't know how you get your hat to stay on. That's the question I have. Experience. That's what? So because of all the wind, we ended up having to put up chloroplast uh, covers on this side of the run because the wind is pretty bad and it's the only thing that really kills birds like ours. So chloroplast up and then we also got the duck house lined up on the concrete blocks that we have. Uh, Jelly Bean is soaking out there. He has to be um, and then we're going to get a new piece of this plastic material uh, cut and set in here. And then let it sit there overnight so it's ready for water. But all the birds seem to be doing happy time in here. The ladies and gentlemen, it's doing all the Okay, everybody, I believe this is day something or another, eight. What do you think, Sullivan? Is it day eight? I think so. 
think today is going to be our final day doing the setup, which is huge because yesterday was really windy. Today is not windy, so we're able to actually get it done. So excited. So we're going to get the roof, uh, the duck house, and the inner part of the shed a little bit more finished, and then we'll be done. What do you think, Sully? What, Sadie? Did all the birds go back in the run? The ducks did. That dog freaked them out so bad they all just went home. Right after I got them out, too. So what's going to happen is I'm going to buy or even petition mom and dad for some of the black fences in the backyard. And we're going to build a secondary catch. So it's basically like, you know, at the butterfly pavilion, there's a secondary gate. Yeah. Where they can open this one. Kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Anyway, we have our ducks and chickens. Hi, babies. I know, we had a little bit of a stressor this morning. One of their dogs isn't used to the birds yet. And so, almost all of them went home after, right after I got them out, except for these four, because they're, they're just enjoying life. So I gotta force them back out, uh, now that we're gonna get some water running. Also, for those of you who may be wondering, where's all the greenery? Well, we're actually working actively to fix that. So there's some green starting to pop up here in this paddock. And our goal is to get it lush and green and happy for all of them out here. But it's gonna require a lot of water and a lot of patience. So, and I also think they're working on bringing out some trees and stuff like that, so. Yeah, they have a bunch of baby trees that they were um, starting to raise over there in pots. And so once those are, good we'll start planting them well just this dang dirt because it's the the horse dirt that they put down it's like a foot or something yeah a solid thing to keep plants from growing mm -hmm. so we're trying to break that because it's not good for horses to have plants growing in their paddock or mud but it's not good for ducks and chickens not to have plants go right not to have mud, so. exactly so for now they're enjoying their run I, every time I try to get them out, they just want right back in. That's so because that's where they know it's You know, safe. as long as they're happy and content, that's all that matters. I think what we could... They are protesting. Yeah, I, I agree. What we could do is put some, like, Momo and some of the ladies out in the pond. Then they'll yeah. feel... Daffodil is the one that the dog grabbed yeah. on the tail of. I checked her. She's okay. Yeah, that <laughs> could have been bad. <laughs> okay, we managed to get a hose set up with a little sprinkler head. Yeah. And Mr. Sullivan has no idea what's about to hit him. Hey guys, Sadie, look. <laughs> about to hit him in the face. Sully, you're gonna get wet. <laughs> you get wet? I'm sorry for laughing, buddy. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's just chilling, vibing, and the hose comes in, he's like, Okay, so mom got the mesh up while we were talking with the birds. Here, Maddie. And now we're going to get the uh, hemp bedding you in here. You want me to do it so you don't get covered in hemp? Yeah, that would be amazing. So here, you can flip that down. I'll move out of your way. Yeah, if you flip it down and then you have a razor or shovel or something. Um, do we want to go grab one from the barn? So what we're currently doing is we're getting this old hemp, the stuff that you saw us rake out. We put the three metal tins that you guys watch us undo in the floor of the run here um, to give the birds some bedding, but also to help with the um, smell. So we're going to put straw or hay or whatever they got on top of it. So this is our old hemp leftover. We're going to put this in the bottom of the, the chicken coop here, and then we're going to put their new hemp on top. And this is just to keep a healthy biome, biome of um, things. I don't know. So while mom's putting the hemp in, which I'll help her with in a second, dad's already getting up on the roof to put the roof on, which is huge. Yeah, that's okay. Who's that beautiful girl? <laughs> Could she be any cuter? Maddie, that just reminds me of a, a song from I Love Melvin, an old movie. What There's song? a whole sequence about a guy who falls in love with girls wearing fur and all these designer things. <laughs> okay, so we have the first half of the roof secured-ish. So 
just gotta finish getting all the screws in it and then we'll go to the other side and get the other four but, yeah it's probably my least favorite part because it stresses me out so much watching my dad up there Want well, what, Dad? I will cry. I don't want to lose you. Okay, so it's been a little bit since we talked last, but uh, we have started to get all of the uh, predator skirt all over the ground. Basically, it comes out to about, hmm, I would say two feet out. Basically, the idea behind a predator skirt is that most predators don't uh, dig further than two feet. They typically try to get in as close as they can. And the skirt is kind of something they run into that they can't break through, so they can't dig underneath. This ground is very hard already, so by itself, it shouldn't be a thing. Oh, hello, Mr. You love this town? You gonna wake up later? And uh, we got the duck house roof on. I'm loosening it so I can scoot over. And yeah, we got to put the skirt on this side as well. So this is the side with the mesh type that we usually use. So, but we didn't have enough of it to go all the way around, so these guys had other types of mesh to work perfectly on the other side. So Oh yeah, absolutely. So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Sadie and I have to leave here shortly to go do a Bible study and uh, keep up with that. But the good news is is we're as close as we can get to being done right now which is huge and um, more than likely mom and Sadie will come tomorrow and get the finishing touches put up um, the other cool thing is James helped us get the duck flooring repaired so yeah This is basically a fortress now. 